Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple with another YouTube demo for you this morning. Now, I don't know if it's a sign or a fate or kismet, but I live about five minutes away from the shop and I get on one main street and I drive that main street all the way to the store. I don't get off, but I go through about mm, maybe eight or nine stoplights and I hit green all the way through. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go buy a lottery ticket today or what, but I did not hit a single red light this morning. So I'm thinking all is right with the world. <laughs> okay, we've got a lot going on today for you and I want um, to make a few announcements first. The Ho 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 collection from Couture Creations is in stock. So if you pre-ordered yours, they are probably already shipped to you. So yay! But we do have a few left in stock. Um, remember the Couture Creations is embossing folders that are imported from overseas. Um, and we only get so many of them and when they're gone, they're gone. So we do still have some left. They are on the website. I can tell you that um, Bobbles, I think it's Bobbles and Bobbles, it comes in, in a five by seven size and it comes in an A2 size. Those are very, very, very limited. And when they're gone, the manufacturer is out of them as well. So there's a couple of them that are, are very close to being out. So if you're interested in them, go to the website, uh, www.shopatatsms.com and pick up your Couture Creations. I'm gonna show you the back of this one just real quick. There are some of the collections. Cute, aren't they? And uh, when they're gone, they're gone. But they are here, so if you pre-ordered, yay! And they're on their way to you. All right. What else do we have going on today? Um, I'm working with Honey Pop Paper again by Inky Antics and some of their new stamps. And I really like one stamp that they did. Uh, it's an ornament stamp that is so super simple. It's great for kids because it's really that simple. Um, so I want to show you how to how to work that and we had a lot of people ask about shaved ice because I mentioned it in one of my last YouTubes. So I've got shaved ice for you today and uh, I think we are going to, I think we're going to get started. So I'm going to tilt on down and we're going to get going for today. Okay, down we go. Bye. All right. How's that? I think that's pretty good. Don't you think that's pretty good? Okay. Ornaments. Oh, super cute. <laughs> Isn't that darling? And when you see how easy it was to make this, oh my gosh. And look at it, it even has the little tag that says Merry Christmas and the year. So this product is by Inky Antics and Inky Antics makes a collection called Honey Pop and they do stamps and they do paper, Honey Pop paper. And the Honey Pop paper is accordion paper. See how that accordion out so that when we do it, you get the three-dimensional effect. Now, I've used Honey Pop Paper and Inky Antic stamps in a previous YouTube, but I'm just gonna really quickly go over um, how the Honey Pop Paper works, just in case you are a new viewer and haven't had a chance to scroll back and watch some of my older YouTubes, okay? So this is how the Honey Pop Paper is sold. It comes in a single sheet, and again, it is an accordion. When you open it, you can see the honeycomb, hence the name. The most important thing about this paper is this little thing right down here. This little information right down here. It says that you need to run your stamp in the direction of the arrows. What does that mean? Well, here's the stamp set we're going to be using today. It makes four different Christmas ornaments. They give you the little banner. They give you the little leaves. They give you Merry Christmas. They give you our first Christmas. They give you baby's first Christmas. And best of all, they give you the years all the way from 2012 to 2015. So this stamp set uh, stays relevant for quite some time. But as you can see, on each of the stamps, there's a little arrow. And that tells you which way to stamp it on your honey pop paper. So if your arrow is pointing, is this direction, you want to stamp with that arrow facing this direction. You don't ever want to be perpendicular. You don't want this arrow going up and down and your stamp arrow going side to side. That's not going to give you the desired effect you're looking for. So uh, the honey pot paper comes, gosh, I don't know, maybe 15, 16, 17 colors now. And the newest color is the peppermint stripe, which gives you this look, which is what we've done on these two ornaments here. Both of these ornaments are two different shapes and they both come in the stamp set. 
but it's really important to stamp with the arrows. So I always start on this side, stamping on this side, and work my way over. And this is like the last piece I possibly use. All right, so that's a little bit about the Honey Pop paper and the Honey Pop stamps, and that's why they have arrows, because you're stamping just half the image, and when you open it up, I've stamped half the image, when you open it up, it gives you the complete image. All right, so I'm gonna move that off to the side, and I'm gonna keep this here because I'm gonna be working with this today. Now, I've got one of the ornaments right here on my Tim Holtz grid blocks. Let's see, find the Tim Holtz grid blocks. Here they are. Tim Holtz grid blocks. You get all these sizes in one package for $21.95. It is the best deal ever. You never need to find another block again. He gives you everything you could ever possibly use. So if you don't have a nice block set, I put this definitely on my wish list for Santa and maybe he can come a little bit early and get you this. The grid blocks are super thin. They're super easy to use. And um, again, they've got the grids on them so you can line things up and you get everything you could ever possibly need. I have got my stamp on my block, and I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing this because there's, you know, there is more than one way. The first thing I'm gonna do is, actually I'm gonna use my Versamark first. I've got my Versamark pad, and if you recall from, gosh, is it last YouTube? We use Versamark for an awful lot. It is, this time we're using it as a watermark. And I'm gonna ink up my my stamp and with my arrows running the same direction I'm going to stamp onto my honey pop paper now you're always going to need that straight edge you're always going to need the straight edge of that stamp so I always line that straight edge up with my honey pop paper and I'm going to give it a stamp now some people ask why am I using my Versamark well, you're going to cut this out. Gosh, and I don't even know if you can see it. It's so fan. Oh yeah, I can see it. You're going to cut this out. I'm not going to cut along this edge because I cut, I, I stamped against a straight edge, but I'm going to cut this out. And if you use a darker color ink, there's always the possibility that you may see a little bit on the edge. I've never had that happen. But if you want to stamp with your Versamark, you're assured not to see any dark ink. Now. For me, and I have to tell you, <laughs> I'm in my 40s, <laughs> and not my early 40s anymore. I'm in my mid 40s. For me, oh, that's getting awful hard for me to see. So if you've got great eyes, go ahead and use your Versamark. I still use my Memento ink pad. I still use our Memento because it's fabulous. I use the black, I ink it up, and I'm gonna stamp right next to it so you can see the difference. I need to be able to see what I'm cutting, and Boy, once I hit that mid-40 range, my eyes just changed so fast. I am so not prepared for, um, <laughs> for getting glasses, but I'm going to have to. All right, so I'm going to reline it up against my edge here, and I'm gonna stamp. See, for me, that's so much easier to see. I've got the Versamark up here versus the memento down here. Now when I open it, I'm not going to see that, but a lot, you know, a lot of people do want to use a watermark image just to be sure, and if you can see it by all means do it. Either way is correct. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a straight edge. I'm going to cut a straight edge. And I do that because every time I stamp, I want to start against a straight edge. It just makes using the Honey Pop paper easier. So now I am all ready for the next time I stamp. I'm going to stamp right against that straight edge. With the Christmas ornament, you do need to have two pieces of the ornament to make one ornament. So I'm going to cut this out and you cannot use your fussy cut scissors for this. You need to use a good pair of scissors. So pull out your, your nice scissors because you're going to need, and can you see how I'm closer to the back? I'm, I'm not cutting from the tip. If you try and cut from the tip, you're never gonna get enough in there. You really need to cut from the back. See how deep I've got them in that scissor? 
Okay, and I'm just gonna do my little, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just getting the rough outline of it. Come in this way to finish it off. There we go. Okay, so you can see where I stamped along the straight edge. I didn't even bother to cut that. I'm just gonna leave that just the way it is. And then when I open it, I have got half of a Christmas ornament. Now over here, I've got the other half. Boy, this one's a little tattered. It's been demoed quite a few times. <laughs> and I do have this one that I could cut out for you and, uh, and use that. But I wanna show you how quick and easy it is to put these together. I'm going to take some glue. And the glue is very important when using Honey Pop paper. We recommend that you use the Ink Essentials um, craft glue. And it is a collage glue. It's meant for paper. It's made by Ranger. It's very fast drying and it's very non-forgiving. <laughs> so you can glue everything together. You've got a minute maybe to pull it up and rearrange it. But when it's dry, it's dry and it holds the honey pot paper better than any glue we've seen. Don't use a wet glue. Um, the glue sticks a buck 99, it'll go a very long way and it makes your life so much easier. I'm gonna take my two pieces, so I've got two identical pieces, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the top of one. So I've got a little bit of glue sticky, little bit of glue on top of one, and I'm just gonna lay this one on top of that one and give it a good press. So now, in essence, I've doubled it. That's gonna give you enough to go all the way around. If you use just a single piece of the honey pot paper, it's not quite enough to go all the way around. Then I'm gonna open it. Can you see how it's enough to go all the way around? And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. Well, I would now take, gosh, do I have a piece? I would now take a piece of string. Let's see if I can find a piece real quick. Oh, let's just use this one. I would take a cord, a string of some kind, and I would use my Suk Wang tape and I would tape that right down the center. Can you see right down the center is where I would put my string to hold my ornament. And you wanna butt it up right against here, right against the edge. You take two, just loop it, and a piece of Suk Wang tape, which is our double-sided tape, any tape will hold it down, but don't use a wet glue and don't use the glue stick. Use a piece of tape to hold it down. And then I would take my glue stick again, put it on. Ooh, sticky. And then close it up. And just kind of hold it there for a second. It really doesn't take long. Just kind of hold it there for a second. And there's my ornament ball. Is that so simple? Oh my gosh, you could stamp all your little ornaments, cut them out, and let your kids do this for cute Christmas gifts for their teacher. And you can hang this ornament from this direction. You could hang it from this direction. Um, I think I've got a couple here. Here's one all done. We just took some sequins, just some inexpensive rows of sequins, put it around. Isn't that darling? And it was just that simple. It really was. Easy peasy. So remember that when you're using that honey pot paper, it's important that the arrows on the paper match the arrows on your stamp. You see that arrow? They need to match. Otherwise, if you stamp perpendicular, my arrows are going this way and this arrow is going that way. The paper will not open the way you want it to. And we really want to have that really fun three-dimensional look. 
So cute. And then again, like I said, they gave us the leaves, the banner, and the year. So we used the leaves, the banner, and the year to make a fun little holiday ornament that anybody can make. It's fast, it's easy, it's fun, and then decorate. Super cute gifts for, um, for kids to give grandparents and teachers and church and just fun and easy to do. So I've got a couple here, like I said, and this is the candy cane stripe paper. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of a, a glitter on this. I want to tell you a little bit about the um, glitter dust. This is a ThermoWeb product, and it is not a shimmer and it is not a spritz. This is an actual glitter glue spray. Now, if you see this out there in the market, you need to know, one, it's beautiful. But two, you have to do this outside. You have to spray it outside. If you spray it inside, oh my, you are gonna be higher than a kite. <laughs> it has an odor that will just, woo! <laughs> we used it for the make and take and we had to set the, the station outside the store for them to go out and spray all of this because it, and even then it wafted back into the store and it was like, don't inhale everybody, okay? <laughs> because it will truly get you very, Woo, lightheaded, um, but it's beautiful. And it comes in silver, it comes in gold, it comes, I think we have it in iridescent. And I wanna show you what it looks like on the inside of a card. Let's see, I have got, did she do it on the inside of the card here? Yes, okay. So this looks completely different than a mist or our shimmers that we use um, from Sukuniko, the pssst, shimmer spritz. This looks totally different, and I don't know if you can see the beautiful shimmer. We literally just sprayed it. It's, it's just this beautiful glitter on the inside of the card. So here's a card. Now I've shown you an ornament, <laughs> but I didn't get to show you yet how to do it on the inside of a card. And here's one of the samples, and ta-da! So I'm going to do that next, but I did want to show you that glitter because it's just beautiful. But I want you to know that really this isn't for use for children um, unless they're being well supervised in a well ventilated area. And it goes on flowers, it goes on, it goes on everything. It would be beautiful to spray it on tissue paper for your holidays, but again, well ventilated area and probably not best with children, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna show you just quickly how to use the Honey Pop in a card because there's some specific things that you need to know. And I know that I've gone out through this before um, on a different YouTube, but I quickly wanna do it again just for those of you who may not have seen um, a previous YouTube. So quickly, as you can see, the Honey Pop paper has got some width to it. I've got my cut there, I'm ready to go, and it's got some width to it. When you're using a card, and we use a lot of pre-made cards, so this one's already done. We bought it pre-scored pre uh, and cut. So if you have pre-made cards, what you need to do is go back and re-score your card to have about an eighth of an inch, about an eighth of an inch gusset. Can you see how that's got about an eighth of an inch gusset right there? And what that is going to allow you to do is put your honey pop paper inside so that it fits, okay? If you try to do it without the scoring, it will work. It just kind of makes your card a little bit bulkier. So if you've got a scoring tool like we've got right here, it's just as easy to put your score lines, it's not cut just as easy to put some score lines in there on either side of the original. And again, it does not have to be perfect. So I added some new score lines. Now, for those of you who are gonna be local shopping with us on Black Friday, Black Saturday, I do have a special scorer coming in um, on a Black Friday promotion. So now I have scored to have my gusset, okay? 
So I'm going to take my honey pot paper that I have stamped my Christmas ornament on and I'm going to cut it out real quick. Again, see how far down in my scissors I've got that paper. I'm not trying to cut with the tips of the scissor. I'm really getting down there so I get a good, a good cut and more leverage when I'm pressing down. Don't try to use your fussy cut scissors doing this. It just isn't going to happen. And you can see my cut's not perfect. It's a little here and a little there and it's, you know, it's good enough though. It's not meant to be perfect. Once you open it, you're never, ever, ever going to notice that it wasn't exactly on the line. And then I would take it. And this time, I know a lot of people think that you would put the glue in the center. No, that's not correct. What I'm going to do is, again, take my glue from Ranger, the Ink Essentials, and I am going to glue one side. And I'm going to line it up with the closest uh, score line here. So I've got a score line right there. I'm going to line it right up against that score line, my very first score line. Then I'm going to add a little more glue. And I'm going to close the card. And that will line it up for me in instant presto. I've got a honey pop center. I've got a honey pop center. It's just that fast and simple. Put the glue on one side, put it down, line it up with your first score line. Can you see my first score line? Put glue on the second side, close the card, let it sit for a second, open it up, and you're done. This glue is what really helps. It makes such a difference. And for a buck 99, it goes a really, really long way and you'll be really happy you have it. Okay, so that's how we do a card. Very easy. And the ornament, remember you're using two pieces, two pieces of the honey pot paper to give yourself enough dimension to do the ornament. All right, now I said that I had some shaved ice to show you. This is what shaved ice is. It's made by Stampendous and it's just a bottle full of happiness. It's um, chunky, it's not glitter, it's chunky thick plastic that is just beautiful. It looks like snow, it has an iridescence to it, it's a huge bottle so it goes a very long way. I think it's five dollars and, um, and we love it. We also use, by Stampendous, the crushed glass glitter. The easiest way to use the shaved ice is with your flower soft glue. It's the glue that we like the best with the shaved ice. Why? Because again, it's got that super fine tip that you can't find on any other glue bottle. Inside is Aliens Tacky Glue. So when you buy this bottle, you only buy it once. You're buying it for the tip. When you run out, don't buy the bottle again. <laughs> Go to your local craft store, your Michaels, your Walmart, everybody carries Aileen's Tacky Glue and just replace the glue that's inside, okay? You're buying it for this super, super, super fine tip. And the easiest way to put it down is, because it's so fine, oh, do I have a clear uh, piece of paper here? Because it's a super fine tip, you can go in there and literally put down a line as fine as you want. You can make it as thick as you want, you can make it as fine as you want, it's really up to you. But it holds, I don't know if you can see, it's down there, it holds the shaved ice and the glitter glue, or the glass glitter, beautifully. It does a really fine job. And sometimes you just want to go through and dot where you want the shaved ice. You don't want it everywhere. You just want a couple little dots of it, maybe a little bit on the Christmas tree. That's why you need that super fine tip because it will hold it. Now you're gonna need a little bit more of it when you're using the glass glitter because the glass glitter is chunky. It is not a fine glitter at all. And it is very heavy um, and, and thick. 
the pieces are big. It's not like the burnished velvet glitter at all, and you do not burnish this at all. You drizzle it where you want it to go, and you let it be. But it gives a very beautiful look. Let's see, do I have a sample? I think I have a sample somewhere. Oh, let's pull some of these up. Yes. So I've got a card here, and we have used the new color of Flower Soft. Uh, leaf green is the new color of Flower Soft. And we went right on top of the, we stamped the leaves, cut them out, and then put the new color of Flower Soft right on top, the leaf green, because it has a very vintagey, leafy look to it, as opposed to some of the other greens that Flower Soft makes, which are a little bit brighter. This has got a little bit more vintage. But you open it up, there's our ornament, and here is our glass glitter and our shaved ice. Now, my thought, because these lines are just absolutely perfect, is that she used Suk Wang tape. She ran a row of Suk Wang tape right down either side, pulled it up, and put down her glass glitter and her shaved ice. And that will work fine, too. The Suk Wang tape will hold it beautifully. Can you see how pretty that is? And what an easy card to make. Super easy. And we've got the gusset in the card, just so it's a little bit easier to use. Okay, so that's what shaved ice is. We got a lot of questions about shaved ice. And my gosh, you can never go wrong having a bottle of this. It just, it's just yummy. <laughs> and did she do the inside? No, I don't think she sprayed the inside of this card, did she? No, she didn't spray the inside of the card, but I sure do love it. Nope. Upside down. One more time. There we go. Okay, what else do we have to show you? I think for the demo, I think that's it. Let me just go over it really quickly one more time just so you're sure about what you're doing. Honey pop paper, about 18 colors. Oh gosh, at least 18 colors now. Um, some of the other colors here, let me pull them up so I can show you. Some of the other colors, we've got the blue, we've got the red, which is what I'm using, we've got green. Okay, this is the the white here is the peppermint. There's red and white honeycomb in there combined to give you this look, okay? The new apricot is in, the new teal is in, so lots of colors for you to choose from. Honey Pop also makes a lot of different stamp sets, and these are the new stamp sets. These are the ones that are a little bit newer. Here you have for wedding where you would get the bell. The bell will 3D out. And here we have just peachy, and the peach is so cute. Some of the samples they have on their site are really cute. But you could also use the peach for an apple. So just peachy. We've got the flowers where the pot will let you 3D. The rose where the vase, you can 3D the, the vase for the roses. For the holidays, pie for cooking. For those of you out there who are doing recipe books, you can do the whole pie. It's so cute when you open your card and the whole pie is there. We've got the Christmas candle, and again, the entire candle will 3D. The turkey, gosh, this was a huge seller at the Make and Take. The turkey, his little fans at the end will 3D out. The Christmas witch, this wasn't the last one. We've got more coming in, but the Christmas witch, it's her broom that will fan out. And there's a sample on our site right now of this one that's just darling. Um, it's a tiny little ornament, and the snowmen are holding the ornament, and it's so cute. And there's an adorable sample on our site. And then the squirrel, which is, again, simply adorable, and it's the acorn that will let you open in, uh, a 3D out. So what are we going to do? We're going to take our honey pot paper. We're going to take our stamp. We're going to take our Versamark or our memento ink in whatever color that makes you happy. You're going to ink up. You're going to make sure your arrows line up. I'm going to keep a nice straight edge and I'm going to line my stamp against that straight edge and give it a quick stamp. And then I am going to cut it out 
to make my card or if I'm doing an ornament, I'm gonna stamp another one right here because I need two of them. The glue that I highly recommend you use is the Rangers Ink Essential um, Collage Glue. It is meant for paper, it is easy, it holds like crazy and super fast. Okay, and then if you are out shopping, um, we're not gonna put this online just because shipping issues with the aerosol, but if you do find the glitter dust out there, just know, keep it outside and probably away from kids. It's not the best product to have around children and you knew, do need to be in a well-ventilated area. But if you are able to do that, <laughs> it's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. So let me show you some more samples that we've got going on real quick. And, okay, so we've got this card that I already showed you that opens. I don't know, can you see, again, can you see the glitter in there? It's different than anything else we've used. It's not like a shimmer. It's just beautiful. And then we've got the snowman. And we've got the tag and the date. Really simple to do. We've got our Christmas here. And yes, you get all of these different shaped ornaments in the, the stamp set by Inky Antics. And I've got some more Christmas ornaments that we've done. Okay, the girls had really fun time doing the Christmas ornaments. They went through the trim, they went through the ribbon, they all did the banner. Let's pull up a few more. It was hard to decide which ones to show you because the girls did so much. Little die cut of a poinsettia. And you can keep them simple, or you can really, really go crazy with them. Up to you. All done with one stamp set from Inky Antics. One stamp set. So, I'm gonna tilt on up, and I'm gonna say, oh, and shaved ice, don't forget the shaved ice. And the leaf green. I'm going to tilt on up, and I am going to say, hey, this is Stacy, and What's gonna be on a YouTube Yummy? Well, of course, all the Inky Antics stamps are gonna be on a YouTube Yummy, and all the Inky Antics Honey Pop paper are going to be on a YouTube Yummy. We will also put the glue stick on a YouTube Yummy, and we will put all the fragments by Stampendous, so the shaved ice in their copper fragments and their gold fragments, and we'll put all the glass glitter on a YouTube Yummy for you. Um, and we'll put the Tim Holtz blocks on a YouTube Yummy for you so you can get those at a discount now as opposed to having to wait for Christmas. So I think that is it for today. I hope you had a great time. Don't forget if you wanted any of the Couture Creations Ho 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 collection, they are in stock right now, shipping right now. Very limited on a few of them. Um, the baubles, oh, they don't have the name, but the baubles, oh, Mary, oh, no, they don't have the name. The baubles is probably going to be the one that is going to go first. So if you're interested, go ahead and place your order for those and we'll get those right out to you. Where are you going to find all of this great stuff? Well, you can shop at www.shop at the word atsms.com, www.shop at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Remember, that's the word at scrapbookingmadesimple.com or www.scrapbooking-made-simple.com. All three of them will get you to the exact same place. And big news, Spellbinder Warehouse Sale will be online for all of you online shoppers. So if you are not part of our email, when you go visit one of our sites, sign up for our email so you get the latest update about the Spellbinder Warehouse Sale that we're having. And this time it will be online for all of you online shoppers at the same time we're having it here in the store, which is December 8th through December 16th. Oh my gosh, so much coming in. So the prices are great. So, all right, this is Stacy from Scrapbooking Made Simple. Thanks so much for joining me today and um, hope I see you next week. Bye.